Eridan. The name of the King of the Wild Hunt, the identity of the Lord of Nightmares, the being behind the frightful mask, this long remained unknown. Over time, however, scraps of information gradually coalesced into a full likeness of our foe, but did nothing to detract from the terror he inspired. The Wild Hunt was in truth an elite cavalry brigade from the world of the Anel, the Alder Folk, and was commanded by their ambitious and ruthless king, Eridan Breaklas. He would travel via secret paths through the cold emptiness between his world from ours to capture victims and take them back to his homeland as slaves. The current object of his hunt was Cyrilla, whose power he wanted to harness for his own uses. The only obstacle in his path? Geralt of Rivia. Ciri was able to shed a bit of light on the King of the Wild Hunt's motivations. The threat of annihilation hung over the Anel homeland. Eridan, a warrior and a conqueror by nature, decided to solve this problem in the simplest possible way, by seizing our world. The key to doing so? Ciri's power, which would allow him to open the gates to a full-scale invasion. Trusting in the strength of his magic and the skill of his riders, Eridan boldly launched a frontal assault on Kaer Morin. Despite the defender's noble sacrifices, he came close to victory. Only Ciri's unleashed power forced Eridan to fall back. It was clear, however, that he would learn from this defeat and that his next attack would be insurmountable. According to Avalak, it was Eridan who bore responsibility for the death of Oberon Wirsatak, the previous ruler of the Anel. Revealing this fact would certainly not earn him friends and popularity amongst the Alder folk. Eridan's last battle is worthy of a poem, nay, an epic, all to itself. Yet this is neither the time nor the place to pen it. To be brief, on that fateful day, the cruel king of the hunt seemed unstoppable and tore asunder all who dared stand in his way. Until, that is, his way led him smack into Geralt of Rivia. The two expert fighters faced off in a last skirmish on the ghastly deck of the Nagelfar. The fight was long and difficult, but the witcher's blade struck true in the end, cutting down Aradin's dreams of power and conquest. So died Eridan Breaklas, King of the Wild Hunt. <laughs>